I'm outside of Riverdale Road. This is Severna Park, but it's um, Chesapeake Schools. So we're one block from the community water area. It's really nice here, great community. <clears throat> the yard itself is really cool and there's a, a new construction going up next door. There's a garage. And I mean, I love this house for the landscaping. And whoever did the updates spent a lot of money on updates. The only negative is the layout is kind of strange. Before I go inside, I'm just going to show the uh, yard. So, I love all the privacy from all the hedges, but clearly it needs to be landscaped. The siding is pretty cool. It's like vinyl, but it's made to look like wood. You can see the windows are all updated. Some of the gutters look dented. They might need work. And I would say you need a new roof. So you'll see right when you first walk in, it's just in this one area, the roof is failing. But I love the stonework. You have this just cool walkway going all the way around. You have a really cool patio area here with a screen porch and there's actually a jacuzzi tub in here. Don't even know if he needs a jacuzzi hot tub. You see he's got a fan and lights, I mean um, skylights. So over this way it would be cool if you put in the, the yard itself is already fenced. It's got a series of different type of fences, but it is fenced. But we were saying it would be cool if you just had an automatic door. So you could pull your car in. And even come into the garage if you want. Just before I go in the garage, you still have all this side yard over here. And like I said, there's this new construction coming up next door. Good size lots though. Okay. Let me get the door. So we've got a nice garage. I don't know if the electronic, I'm assuming the electronic opener doesn't work right now, but there is electric in here. We got space in the back for a workshop area. Okay. Mm -mm. Looks like the door's cracking though. You might need a new one. Some, something got hit over there, got knocked. The gutter's kind of falling down here. You can see that one little shingle is cracked. Might need a new roof over here. At least clean it off. You got this awesome magnolia tree in the back, but it's pretty overgrown. It needs to be trimmed way, way back. <laughs> Just growing on the house. I have to double check the utilities. Is this wall of septic? It looks like there's something here. Nice and quiet back here though. So, you have a kitchen straight ahead, 
You have a dining room, a stair to the basement, and the bathroom to the left. And then to the right, you have a big open living room uh, and two bedrooms. So I'm going to start going this way. This is why I think you need a new roof. The windows all look real nice. The ceilings are neat. Nice open floor plan. The hardwood's okay. I mean, it's kind of worn. It's got some discoloration. I don't know if that's just dirt or is that just worn out floors. You kind of see over here, it looks pretty worn. Maybe we finish the hardwood. And like I said, something's going on over here. I think this is like a gas fireplace. It could be electric, I'm not sure. This bedroom is like a closet, really. I don't even know if you want to call it a bedroom. It's more like a little office space. I think the MLS listing says it's like nine by eight or something. Nine by nine. These people, they just bought a wardrobe. Call it a bedroom. And then even the master, again, the measurements are online, but it's not huge for a master. It's like 14 by something else. 14 by 10 or something, 14 by 11. So the kitchen, someone's invested the money in the kitchen. The built-in pantry is nice. And the cabinets look expensive. And the skylight is really neat with the recessed lighting. It's more of a galley style kitchen though, which I know people don't really like. And the other negative is you have your washer dryer in here also. Small washer dryer. So going back by the front entrance, you have a dining room, lots of windows. The windows are neat. Again, the hardwood's okay. It just seems kind of worn out. And you have your entrance here. There's two entrances to the porch area. There's one there. Here's your attic access. How was was the attic okay? It's probably the same. Just <clears throat> stairs need to be replaced. The attic stairs. So new attic so stairs. Place. And somebody spent a lot of money updating this bathroom also. So you have double vanity. Nice jacuzzi tub. You can see the tile has built in storage. Got your cable connections. Got the mirrors. Nice tile for the shower. But it's kind of weird because it's also your second entrance way to the uh, screened in area with the hot tub. So I guess if you are in the hot tub and have to go to the bathroom, it's got easy access, but this is the main bathroom and you pretty much have to go through the other, like the bedrooms are on the other side of the house. So it's awkward. It does look a little warped. Just like it's that's some sort of the coating on the front of it is coming loose. That's okay. So the kitchen's right there. And then on the other side of the kitchen is the bedrooms and living room. And then like I said, the dining room's all the way over here. And the uh, basement is down this way. So it clearly looks like there was a a flood in the basement. There was water. There's some mold. We've got a kitchenette area. There's a crawl space over here that looks dry and well maintained. 
Back by the kitchenette, you have the hot water heater. And then there's like a finished space here with the bulkhead. Right here, the ceiling height's kind of low. It's maybe like six feet. Um, but the rest of it's okay. Utility room with a oil furnace and mold. Over here is a cedar closet, and what we figured out was that the oil tank was on the other side of the cedar closet. So it's back there. And uh, let's see the mold discoloration. Yeah, fogged window. That's the sump pump in the corner. And then you have another really nice bathroom. Tile floors. This is okay. See, nice, someone really likes mirrors. Another jacuzzi tub. And another shower with the nice built-in tile. So, really nice lot. Nice house, but not that much living space. The layout's kind of strange.